Today I'm going to show you some of the differences I have noticed in the Boss RC30 dual track looper and the Boss RC300 loop station. When I first got into looping, the first loop pedal I owned was a Ditto, and I think it cost around $100. The problem was it could only record one track, and I couldn't save it. And I didn't realize how how badly I needed something more like this for what I was trying to achieve. Now, Boss makes a model of the looper that just has one pedal, so it's similar to the Ditto, and that runs about $100. I wouldn't personally recommend those for Harpus because, like I said, you can't store loops, which to me, it, it just takes up a lot of the playing. It, it makes your playing easier. Um, and more enjoyable because you can add more to it. You can store percussive beats. I'll record another video on how I incorporate my loop pedal for a cocktail hour, so you can watch that if you're interested. But if I was going to recommend a looper to a starting harpist, I would definitely say this one. I could have had this one for years and been totally happy with it. I've had it for about two years now. Um, and yeah, I would have felt totally fine. I wanted to upgrade. I borrowed my friend, my friend who's a guitarist. I borrowed his 300 just to see if I, you know, if I really wanted to upgrade. And after playing around with it for an hour, I was like, okay, I'm getting this. It just, it can do, it can do a bit more. And I was just, I was just ready to upgrade. But like I said, this one, totally fine. The RC30 will run you about $300. The RC300 is about double the price around 600. Um, they both have 99 channels, so you can scroll up or down this way. Something I noticed on this one is it's way faster to scroll like this. Now the problem with the RC30 is that you have to manually change this. So for example, for Cocktail Hour, if I play two songs that have, I've stored different beats so say I'm playing At Last by Etta James, and that has kind of a swing, you know, slow beat, and then my next song is Stand By Me, and that's a different beat that I've recorded on a different channel, and I need to switch them. That means I need to bend down to the harp, change it manually. Or what um, you can do is you can buy this FSX pedal and plug it in here, and then I can use my feet to hold this down and change it. But you can see it goes pretty slow, which is okay, but... You know, sometimes you, you need something a little faster, but it's a totally fine solution. It's, it's worked great, you know, it's fine. Um, this pedal runs about $70. So by the time you get these two, you're already at almost $400, okay? Um, so I learned that with the 300, you can achieve the same thing without the FSX by holding in this FX pedal and then simply scrolling down with this. I mean, this is like, you know, you can get anywhere in two seconds, it's so fast. So that's really awesome. I was really excited because I didn't know that um, when I had upgraded to this one. So they both allow you to store up to three hours of memory. Now, the most noticeable big difference between the two is that this pedal, the RC30, has two tracks and the RC300 has three. Now, why would that matter? Maybe, maybe you record percussion on track one, you record the chords for the um, you know, verses, and then on this track three, you record the chords for a chorus. So I've managed with just the two. I usually do a percussive beat on beat one, and then I'll, you know, if there's something really cool or for the chorus I wanna, you know, put the chords down so I can play something on top, I'll do that with this pedal. Another big difference is, let's go back to 37, I think it was, because I wanted to show that one. So, when I'm playing, say I start, and this won't play because it's not plugged in, but say I'm playing this one right here, I hit the left pedal to start that track. In order to start playing the next track over, 
I have to hold down this right pedal, right? Did you see how that light switched? So now when I hit the left pedal, it'll initiate that. And you know what? I'm just gonna show you guys because it's gonna be better. So just bear with me. I'm not a professional videographer, so I apologize. But you'll get some good info. Okay, and I'm not redoing this again. Okay, here we go. Let's see this plays. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wanna find one that has two. There we go. Okay, here we go. This is Tennessee Whiskey. So for example, I use this track nine for Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton and for At Last by Etta James because of this beat. So I've made this beat on my heart. Now usually when I'm playing this, I do a little intro, I've got the percussion. Now if I want to play the chords, I have to hold down this right pedal. It highlights this track and then you hit left and it'll start. Okay, you can adjust the volume this way. So you'll hear how the beat is high now and that's low. So you gotta find a good combination that works. Now, the only thing I don't like is that you have to manually change this. So if I'm playing and something is way too loud and it's off balance, I can't really bend down. So that's just something that I've had to work around and, and gotten used to. It's not the end of the world. Now to stop the tracks on this one, say if I want to stop this, this, the chords that are going, I'm going to hit the right pedal right here. So now just the percussion's going. Then if I want to stop the percussion, I'm going to hold the right pedal. It's going to highlight that and I'm going to hit it once more and it stops. The other thing you can do, you can hit this right pedal twice to stop everything. So both, everything's playing, say you want like a clean stop, you just hit it twice. So a little awkward, but it's fine. It's, it's like having a relationship. You need to just spend time with this piece of equipment and you'll, it, it's like just adding another pedal to the harp. We've already got seven, what's, what's two more, right? <laughs> so that's, that's the RC30 for the tracks. Now, what I love about this one, you have an all start, all stop pedal, which is really cool. And then not only that, but I don't have to hold this right pedal down to highlight this second track in order to play it. I can just play it whenever I want because it's got the start right here. So for this, this is a different song, but we'll just play this. Oh yeah, I've got to plug it in, right? That would help. Okay, please hold. Like this. Make sure this is on. Okay. So I started that. So I can just play that second track whenever I want. I can start it, I can stop it. So say it's playing. And if I wanna stop everything, I just need to click this one pedal. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this is a different song I've got. So if I wanted to switch. like a mashup that I have and that's why I've got those two I'm still experimenting with that a little bit so the other thing is the volume tracks on the boss RC 300 whereas on the RC 30 you only have these two to guide you you've got this master level which is really cool so something I've struggled with is when we plug into our PA system with my singer sometimes my loops are just too soft because of the way that I've recorded them at home and this will allow me to just like give it that boost that it could need. So say you've got this. I can also adjust it. So I could adjust on my amp 
or I can adjust it down here, which is so cool, right? And when you're first starting out, make sure that your instrument mic level is up. If it's down, nothing's gonna come out. <laughs> I had to learn that. I was freaking out because it wasn't making a sound. So let's see what else, the loop effects. Now on this RC30, you've got these five effects, which are, you know, they're okay. I think I've used like the tempo delay and lo-fi. But on this guy, you've got more, you've got more effects. So like this. So let's go through them. Now it's transposing, that's really cool. You know, if you're working with a singer or something, I would have to experiment more with that. I don't know if I'll use it, but it's just cool to have. And then let's see, how do I get back? I'm still learning this guy. Okay, modulation, kind of cool. I don't know about the voice and guitar effects, they're a little odd. Now we get to other, which is, this is what I like. I'm into this, this filter, that's cool. And you can use this pedal. The other ones, let's turn this down low because it gets louder. <laughs> so it's delay. idea I like I like the filter one the best so far and then to to just restore it to normal you just hit that it's just one little pedal click which is nice whereas on this guy you have to tap this left pedal twice just to turn on or off the sound effects so the other thing that you've got, you've got rhythm, beats you can add. Let's turn this down. I don't think I'll be using these personally, but they're there if you need them. Let's turn it on. They're pretty loud, so just start it really soft to like blast your eardrums out. You can change these, which is kind of cool. So let's do, I think, this. Oh, this is on, that's why it's so weird. So yeah, there's a lot of that stuff. Um, this one has less, so you'll see it, it's down here and it doesn't read you exactly what it's playing. Um, the other cool thing I discovered about this is that you can label your tracks. So I would simply click right. Oh, I thought it was go to the left, maybe not, hold on. Oh, what did I just do? I'm great at this, clearly. Just learned. I just got this this week, so I'm really excited. And I wanted to make this video because I'm selling this one and I'm not gonna have it for the next, you know, probably next week, so that's why I wanted to make this. So if you hit memory edit, hit left, now you can name it. So see how that cursor's moving? And then you simply use these pad guys over here. I'm gonna delete that. And I could say this is feels, because that's what the song is by Pharrell feels so how I organize my loops with the RC30 and I'm just gonna hit right okay so now that's feels so anytime I scroll up I'm going now do 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 oh here I go here's feels I found it so easy with this guy you can't do that and so to organize my loops on the RC30 I have an Excel spreadsheet I don't know what other way to do it. And on my music, I literally write, so I showed you Tennessee Whiskey, I write the number seven on the top and circle it. And that's how I know what beat I need for the loop pedal. Um, let's see, I feel like that was a lot. Oh, the other main difference that I didn't say that I will sadly miss with this guy is it can run off of batteries. 
I think it's eight. It's either six or eight double A's in the back. This guy can't because he's more, he's like a computer. <laughs> um, so they both run off of just like, you know, this, I think it's a nine volt power cord. They both can do that, but this guy can run off battery. So we'll see how much I miss it. I already kind of missed that, but that's okay. On to bigger and better things. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I think this one's a good guy to start with if you're intimidated. I was intimidated when I first got this one. <laughs> I already had this one. Um, but if you have the money, if you want to upgrade and just go crazy, I mean, by all means do it. But I don't think you can you can go wrong with this one. So yeah, those are just some of the differences that I have discovered in the short period of time that I have had both. And thank you for watching.